Where on the bag did it say that the multicolored marshmallows were fruit flavored? Oh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome, come on in. Um, today I'm painting on a fondant cake with straight up cheap food coloring from a box. <laughs> um, you know how you get those little boxes of like four little food coloring vials? Well, that is what I'm using. And in my opinion, from, from this experience, it works pretty great. I have seen other tutorials where they use the other um, food coloring, the gel kind. I've never tried. Um, it probably works a little bit better, but when you have just regular food coloring and you have fondant, this is, this is definitely a pretty cool idea for a cake, I think, anyway. So I decided to do a portrait of my son. It was his 12th birthday, and since we've all been locked in, um, the options to make it special were a little limited, so I thought I would try to make him an extra special cake this year. So I made the cake and the fondant and put it all together and had this perfect white canvas to paint his picture on. So what I'm doing here is I'm blending colors, which are pretty much just the primary colors, yellow, red, blue, and maybe like a pinkish. I can't remember. I had two different sets of food coloring. So one was a neon set. And with those tones, I had a limited amount of yellow, but with the tones I had, I was able to make even that dark color that you see. Um, when you mix all the primary colors together, you get different tones of brown depending on how much of each thing, each color you use. So when you use a little bit more blue, it comes out a little bit like that bluish tone. A little more red, it comes out more brown. And so anyway, I had to dive right in and do the outline of the portrait without sketching it first. So that made it a little bit trickier. Um, I, I, I guess you could sketch it with a really light, um, watered down uh, bit of food coloring if you want to. And I kind of did that, I guess. Um, so yeah, anyway, as you go through, you just it dries and then you add more layers over top. You continue to add different tones. And if you need to dilute a color, you can use water or you can use an extract of something if it's alcohol based. That's what I used. Um, I, I had a little thing of water. But just don't use too much water because it makes the fondant sticky and it will just kind of ruin what you've already painted. So here I'm adding some shadows, which is a very diluted brown, um, just barely there. And if you make a mistake with the food coloring, it's sort of forgivable, actually. I made his eyes a little dark, and so I just put a bit of water, a very tiny, I just moistened the brush pretty much, and then just rub it on the spot. If it's a tiny area that you made an error on, then you should be able to fix it okay. So here I'm adding his shirt color and a little bit more detail. So I would dab it on a paper towel and then go right in. Overlapping other colors gives it more depth. This was really fun. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this. So I would highly recommend giving it a try. You could do this on cupcakes, um, on anything with fondant actually. So I also had that brighter blue tone, so I kind of mixed it with the more purple. To give it that painting look, I put a diluted bunch of colors in the background. And here I'm using some gold luster dust that's been mixed with some extract. It makes it kind of like paint. So 
I was looking at my reference image the whole time and I'll show you the reference image here. I, I painted him without a hat on though because that was that hat was for our old fashioned family photo shoot. So I had another image of his hair so I just kind of put them together and then sign it. A little happy birthday. And voila, there it is. So you can see the cracks that the fondant has, but I kind of liked it. It gives a, a neat look. So there's the cake. And there's the inside of the cake. <laughs> and Cali girl. <laughs> So please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Give me your ideas in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you right here in the art club next time. Bye.